Get to Dube lives in Monsuma village on the edge of Wangi National Park, Zimbabwe's biggest wildlife reserve. Dube has a problem with hyenas who have eaten all seven of the goats she once owned, leaving her with this empty crawl. If you leave your goat or cattle in the wild for the night, they will be eaten by the hyena. I believe there's a huge number of hyenas in the bush because five or six animals can be eaten from one kraal by a hyena in one night. But there's another bigger issue for the villagers in the UNAU Wildlife Summit taking place this week in Victoria Falls. Elephants. We love wild animals. They're a part of nature. But some wild animals, such as elephants, lions, or of buffaloes, we're afraid of them as they kill. When people hear of elephants in the area, even school children fear going to school as they kill. Conflict between humans and wildlife is one of the agenda items at this week's summit. But the Zimbabwean officials have a different focus than Durban. Zimbabwe and its neighbors Botswana and Namibia are home to over 60% of the world's elephants. The countries want to end the international ban on trading in raw ivory, imposed 30 years ago in hopes of protecting elephant populations. Zimbabwe's president Emerson Mnangagwa says the country has about $600 million worth of elephant ivory and rhino horns in stock mostly taken from animals that died of natural causes. Munangagwa says the money raised would allow Zimbabwe to better manage and conserve its wildlife populations. If we are allowed to dispose the same and agreed parameters, the revenue derived therefrom would suffice to finance our operational conservation efforts for the next two decades. We encourage a process where accruing benefits from natural resources are fairly and equitably shared among communities living within the wildlife areas. That will certainly be good news in Dube and others who are in conflict with wildlife. They want to benefit from Zimbabwe's natural resources, such as this national park, one of the seven wonders, which President Emerson Munangagwa encouraged tourists to visit to develop the economy. After all, the UNAU summit is about how wildlife can develop Africa's economy. Columbus Mavungam for VOA News, Harare.